Hello, fellow Rosarians. Thank you for joining me again for another unboxing. It's hard to believe this is our 11th unboxing. I've been doing this series to give everybody an idea what to expect when they order from. It's got so many different vendors available to be able to sell us these babies that we need for our gardens. And a lot of times it's hard to, before you're ordering, figure out apples to apples, what you're looking at. So I hope that this series helps you understand what everybody's offering. Today's video is coming from Northland Rosarium. It's in 6B in Spokane, Washington. And I've been speaking with Andrew and he's been so kind to answer all of my questions. It is a small family business. Um, so if you're looking for that customer service where you can call and talk to the same person on the phone or have the same person you're communicating with through email, this would be a great place for you to go to get your roses. These roses are own root and we are expecting the size of them to be in the smaller pots. They haven't been hardened off. So what does that mean? That means that they've been in a greenhouse and here we've got freezing temperatures yesterday and today. And so I'm probably gonna keep them in my garage for the just the next day. And then to harden, you're going to bring your roses out for a couple of hours every day and keep them in a shady location, not the sun because they're not used to the sun. And then just bring them out for say two Two hours the first day next day three hours and keep increasing that increment by an hour until they're out for the full day um, and then you can go ahead and get them in the ground otherwise we do not have to soak them for 24 hours they're in their pots and as soon as they're done hardening off we're just going to go ahead and put them in the ground dig our hole, throw the biotone in, and hope for blooms in the spring. So pretty easy stuff. So in this box, I'm expecting four roses. Let's go ahead and see what we've got. It's got a certificate on the front of it. So I'm gonna reach out to him and find out why doesn't everybody else have that? That's pretty cool. All right. Okay, got a really nice pamphlet with uh, planting instructions how to plant own roots. And look at these babies tucked in here all nice. They're very happy in here. My neighbor's mowing his lawn, so hopefully you can still hear me okay. So, oh, look at this baby. <laughs> this is Living Easy, and I'll go ahead and give you a brief description in a few minutes, but I've already lost my train of thought because I'm so excited, you guys. It's got blooms. This makes me so happy because I'm going to be waiting for blooms for several weeks on my current roses. Uh, I might do this every year, just buy from somebody so that I can get blooms right away to enjoy. But let me see if you can see this. Here's a bloom. And then down here is a little tiny baby. So, oh, this is very, very exciting. It looks very healthy. And so when I'm looking at the canes, I've got two canes. You know, one of them is almost the size of a pencil. It's very close. And so having the two canes where one is the size of a pencil, this would be technically a grade two rose. Okay, this is Rosie the Ro Riveter. And let me go ahead and pull this down here. And of course, this one's got a little bloom too. See that? Um, I've got one cane, but this one looks very healthy. Nice bright green coloring to the leaves and the stem. Very nice. Okay, this is bullseye. Of course, there's blooms on this one. I'm so tickled. Okay, let's see. So I've got a bloom here and then it looks like it's getting ready to build on this one here too very happy so this has two uh, stems on this one okay this is oh happy day nice fresh red growth on that very nice before we get into our rack and stack and the pricing let me go ahead and tell you about these roses real quick so Rosie the Riveter, this is a Floribunda that's going to grow four foot high by three foot wide and it's a repeat bloomer and helpmefind.com ranks it good minus. Thing Easy is a low maintenance rose with green foliage, free of black spot, incredible displays of apricot orange blooms and it's the AARS winner for 1996. It's four foot by four foot and it has a fruity fragrance and it's rated good plus by uh, helpmefind.com. 
Oh Happy Day is a hybrid tea with cream apricot blooms. It has superior disease resistance and winter hardiness. It's a good repeat bloomer with dark green foliage and apricot blooms. It's a brand of flora that grows four feet tall by three feet wide, mild fragrance, and it's not ranked by helpmefind.com, but we're gonna rank it ourselves in my garden, and we'll go, <laughs> I'll show you how it does this this year. Okay, then we've got Bullseye, and Bullseye flowers ivory with cranberry red eye zone, a reverse ivory, moderate cit citrus fruity fragrance. It's a small to medium semi double blooms, blooms and flushes throughout the season. It's four foot by three foot, and it's rated good plus by helpmefind.com. Let's get into the pricing real quick. Buying from Northland Rosarium, the pricing is about $22 per one quart. The pricing, if we are going to rack and stack up against everybody that we've bought from this year, I'm doing that analysis based on what if I buy 10 roses from this grower, what's it going to cost me with any discounts or coupons that are available and their shipping rate. And so based on that, 10 roses at $22 no discounts available. Shipping was $30. The total would be $240. How do we rack this against all of the other growers? I was really impressed that I've cut roses. My, the growers that I bought from that were the least expensive are blooming. So I've got high country um, and those all came with blooms and they're the same size. And now the next one up from that is Northland Rosarium. And if you have any concerns about buying a smaller rose, you're only gonna have to baby it for initially as you're hardening it in and getting it in the ground. Um, but other than that, these roses are gonna be about the same size as your one to two year old roses in a matter of time. And so if there's a very unique rose that you have found, then have no worries about buying it in smaller form. It'll do just fine in your yard. Racking and stacking this one, you'll see that High Country, uh, Northland Rosarium, and then Witherspoon Roses are your uh, lowest cost right now. The most expensive right now, would your top three would be Jackson and Perkins, Brax and Heirloom Roses. Um, so it's hard to believe that we've already done 11 videos now, uh, but guess what? I still have six more that I'm expecting. Next week, if you'll join me, I'm expecting uh, from David Austin and also from All My Time. So I hope you'll join me for those videos. And if you want to get a notice when I'm going to uh, post those up, I think that there's a bell. Just hit the bell um, so that you get that alert. I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.